Have fun watching this cartoon. If you want to learn ways to make your own cartoons, stick around for the lesson afterward. You go to Costco to buy, not shop. You gotta know what you're going for. Shopping slows you down. Buy, don't shop. Always grab a cart. Don't juggle the stuff. You think you're saving time? You're wrong. Dead wrong. You gotta keep moving. Scan ahead. Learn where they keep the stuff you're after. Sure, they move it around, but pay attention. You'll figure it out. Ah, this is what I mean. Keep moving, people! Grab and go. Stray kids, you really gotta watch out for them. Teenagers, too. Big families are the worst. Grab and go! Grab and go! Grab and go! Keep moving! Keep moving! No problem. They know what they're doing here. Do you? Don't get suckered by short lines. All it takes is one big pile and you're... The heck? How long does it take to buy a 12-pack of toilet paper and a case of soda? Good thing I parked away from the entrance. You park close and good luck. You'll be fighting your way through drivers going the wrong way. Parkers who can't park... Oh, come on! Is that guy signing up for a mortgage? I love it when a cartoon comes together. Don't you? Here's some ideas about how to work on your cartoons. Read the Apple Keynote support pages for details about specific features. Each shot in a cartoon has a rectangular frame that shows a part of the world of the story at a moment in time. In live action filming and 3D animation, the frame is the viewport of a camera that moves through the world showing moment after moment. In live action, it's a physical camera. In 3D animation, it's virtual. The camera angle and position, how they change and how quickly they change, affects what the viewer perceives. In 2D animation, like what we do in Keynote, the frame does not move. Instead, we set up a moment in the story by moving parts of the world into and out of the frame. This gives the appearance of the frame moving through the world, an implied frame movement. To animate an implied frame movement, think about the starting point of the shot and the end point, and the speed of moving from the start to the end. Decide on the direction of the movement. Do you want it to go left, right, up, down, in, out? Adjust the path of the movement. It can be straight, angled, curved. There can be rotation in the movement. Here's a shot from the cartoon you just saw. It looks like the guy with the shopping cart is moving up the aisle. But the cart isn't animated, the background is. To animate a background, select all of the background items and group them. Attach a scale animation action to the group so that it gets bigger, in this case 150% of its original size. To enhance the effect, attach a move action to the background group. In this case, the path goes straight down for a short distance. Whatever actions you use, set the duration to many seconds to make it a slow motion shot, or set it to less than a second to make it fast. There's tons more implied frame movements you can create, and they all make your cartoon more cinematic. For more tips and techniques about making cartoons and cinematic presentations, visit the One Maker Cartoons LinkedIn group. Hope you enjoyed this Making Moments lesson. Our lessons are about making your own art. Like painting a picture, writing a poem, or composing a song, you can imagine and create cartoons all on your own. All cartoons on the Movies by Martino channel are made with Apple Keynote and Pixelfield Keyshape. For more tips, read the description. Subscribe and catch the next cartoon lesson. Movies by Martino. Small movies. Big fun. <laughs>